Hello Moana Exiles, talk to try here back with another Path of Exile 2 video. I know a lot of you are upset, confused, or just downright disappointed about the entire act situation, and I share that sentiment. In my last video, I suppose that didn't come through because I was trying to continue looking at the positive. So today, I would like to talk about the situation in full, explain what's happening, why it's happening, and everyone's reactions, as well as how Grinding Gear Games is likely going to move forward in the future. So let's talk about it. First up, what is happening? Well, Grinding Gear Games in a, a Japanese interview revealed that PeeWee2's early access will be cut from six to three acts upon release on November 15th. That's about it. It was in an interview that was translated from Japanese to English with Trevor Gaiman, the console game director, and it came out a few days ago with not a lot of fanfare, right? It was just a random interview with a Japanese outlet and no further iteration or explanation from Grinding Gear Games. For the longest time, it has been thought that we are going to have six acts in early access. Six to three is a significant cut. And this gets to the crux of why people are upset, disappointed, or just out, downright puzzled. Let's talk about that. For the longest time, for as long as I can remember, the head person on Path of Exile 2, Jonathan Rogers, has stated that he would like early access, his early access, to be full upon release. Now, key words there, right? Would like, okay? We have, I have, and many of you out there too, have taken this as confirmation that Path of Exile 2 will launch with the entire campaign and endgame, right? That appears to no longer be happening, and there are multiple instances of why we thought this, right? First, Jonathan Rogers has said outright that he wants a full game on release. He said that he was disappointed in No Rest for the Wicked and their release because he finished it and he felt empty. He felt like there should be more and there wasn't any more. And he doesn't want people to feel that about Path of Exile 2. He doesn't want the story to just stop and people end up frustrated that they bought this game that they knew was in early access, so it's unfinished, but still were left unsatisfied with the ending. So he wanted to aim to have the full game out for early access. And then additionally, very recently, he did say that he thinks that you need at least five acts finished, then going into the end game to get the full real experience. And this was for internal testing, right? That appears to no longer be the case, even though we would think that he'd also want that experience to all of us who are playing Path of Exile 2 for the first time to get that full experience. Because if we're going to get three acts and then hop into whatever Path of Exile 2's end game might be, that's definitely not going to be the full experience, right? And then very recently in an interview at Gamescom, Jonathan mentioned that they were fully focused on end game, which once again, made everyone believe, okay, the acts are finished, the acts are all going to be in early access, and now Endgame is their full focus in September, October, and then November, up to the November 15th launch date. This is why people are upset. This is why I'm upset. And I'm reading all the comments, I'm seeing the discussion everywhere, and people are getting very, very heated about this. And I think they're mainly getting heated for two reasons, right? One, the change from six acts to three acts, and they've been promised the fact that we would get the full six acts, the full story. They're going to be missing out on all those bosses, all the lore, all the extra base types and items that you would be able to find in acts four through six. And then there's a second part here too, and that's how it came out. It came out through an interview, as I said before, at the Tokyo Game Show in Japanese, with almost no context. It's just the fact that we're cutting from six to three, we are aiming to get the rest of them out by the end of six months, and then you'll have all the campaign available to you. That, that was it. There was no extra discussion, no description, no justification, nothing else. And I think for us, many people who are watching Path of Exile 2 videos, on the PeeWee2 Discord, on the PeeWee2 subreddit, reading every single news article we can about Path of Exile 2, we were yearning for more than just, this is cut, right? 
And that is driving a lot of the anger. Now, it's a great question. Why are they cutting from six to three acts? And this leads me into why it's happening from Grinding Gear Games End and why I have my position and how I framed my last video as being very positively oriented. So why is it happening? The truth is we have no idea. We have zero clue why it's happening. A lot of people may be stating they know why it's happening, like they ran out of time or there's just tons of bugs or the content just isn't even done yet. I, all those could be the reasons, but we don't have any confirmation of what's happening. The only people who know why this is happening right now are Grinding Gear Games. The game director, the developers, the designers, everybody in that studio, they know what's going on. But the public, we don't know. We're just rab <laughs> rapidly speculating about why this cut happened. And this also feeds into me thinking that there should be some sort of greater context given, maybe a statement made from Grinding Your Games, something like that. Otherwise, people are just going to continue spiraling. That's why I had my position. I didn't want people to, to spiral and speculate uh, and err on the side of, of grinding your games being sinister, right? I, I don't have that viewpoint. I, I think that they're great developers and everything that they're doing, they're doing for a reason. And I knew that it was likely that people would not give them the benefit of the doubt. And for some people, that's exactly what happened. For a lot of people, I think everyone's erring on the side of caution, right? We know Grinding Gear Games has the full context. They have a full view of Path of Exile 2. All the acts, the end game, the skills, the ascendancies, all that stuff is wrapped in their game. We have but a slice, 1%. We know absolutely nothing about the day-to-day -day ongoings of Grinding Gear Games, how the game is going under closed beta testing, that's something else that's been ongoing. A lot of closed beta testers have been able to give raw feedback on the game. Perhaps that has caused the delay for the three acts that we're not going to see in early access on November 15th. We just don't know. And that's why I was saying, hey, if they say they need more time to cook, they need more time to, to do something to the acts or an issue arose, something like that, I'm going to trust them. I'm going to let them do it. They've already delayed the game before for good reasons. WASD being added to the game, maybe console development taking a bit longer than expected, them needing to really make sure that everything was very polished for us when we play it. All those are good reasons. I believe that they're delaying the release of these three acts until later into early access is also a, it's going to have a good reason behind it. It's not just going to be all oh, way flippant. Eh, we're just going to do it. All right, guys, the pe we are disappointed. We're frustrated. We're angry. You know who's probably more disappointed and frustrated? <laughs> Grinding your games. That is the meat of it, my fellow exiles. But there's one other point that I want to address that I kept seeing pop up everywhere. And it has to do with, yes, companies, corporations, Blizzard Entertainment. I saw a lot of people saying, cry. Blizzard did this, if they, they promised six acts on the release of their game, and they went back on it, you would roast them, you'd toast them alive, you'd make hit video after hit video. I mean, your channel is built on Bl uh, Diablo 4 versus Path of Exile. I mean, that's the only reason that anybody watches you, right? No, no, I, I, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. This is very different. Path of Exile 2 is not releasing its 1.0 version. It's not working like a typical Blizzard title does, right? It is releasing into early access, which is why I give them the benefit of the doubt. Because when we're going into early access, especially with Grindinger Games and Path of Exile, given the history of Path of Exile's closed and open betas back in 2011 and 2012, which is essentially what we're getting with Path of Exile 2's early access, Jonathan Rogers himself said that when I asked him. He said, oh, the change between open beta to early access, it's just marketing, right? So in their eyes, it's basically a beta test, right? There's a big difference between a 1.0 worldwide release and an early access that is seen as a beta by the developers. Nothing is sacred. 
Nothing is 100% confirmed. Anything can drop away, especially before anyone has paid for it, before it's even out. I, I, I will remember all, I will, I will tell all of you, we have not paid for this yet, guys. This might be why they're, they're not releasing the payment details for early access because they want to make sure that we know exactly what we are paying for. They don't want to release the, you know, $20 keys for the early access and then say, oh, well, actually, we're only doing six, uh, three acts instead of six acts. And, oh, you know, we're only going to do six classes instead of the eight that we promised and so on and so forth. They want to make sure that they have everything nailed down. And yes, again, are they getting close to the wire here? Yeah, they are. 46 days away. Very, very, very close to the wire. I would argue, and here we go, typical fanboy, that this is better, far better than them letting us pre-order the game a year out, like some other games, right? Would say it's better. And no, I would not make a hit piece on Blizzard doing this with an early access version. No, I, I, I wouldn't. I don't even think I'd do a video if it was a non-early access version. I don't really make a ton of D4 videos because I don't play the game a lot. I make videos about that because I compare D4 to Path of Exile, Path of Exile to Last Epoch, whatever. But I don't make solely Diablo 4 videos. I might because I'm going to play the Vessel of Hatred and here is when everybody unsubscribes from the channel. <laughs> but I think it's fair. I, I want to give it a fair shot. Spiritborn looks kind of sick and I want to be able to compare the new Diablo 4 content to Path of Exile 2 once it comes out about a month after. I think that's everything, everybody. Thank you so much for bearing with me. I hope this explanation of the controversy made sense gave you some more context about our lack of context. And I really just want to bring down the temperature levels here because the, the thing that this has showcased to me is that everyone is just voracious about Path of Exile 2 coming out. We all want it to arrive so much. And anytime any bit of information comes out, any change comes out, if it's at all negative, and I'd say that this is probably the first Grinding Gear Games L since March and the delay of the closed beta or the early access from June 7th to unknown and now November 15th. I think this is the first big L. Whenever an L comes out, because there's not a lot of other stuff going on, oh my goodness, it just absorbs all discussion around the topic. And I, if I can do anything to just help assuage people's worries or explain why this might be happening, well, I'm going to do it. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to Talk to Try for all things Path of Exile 2 and to hit the like button if you liked today's video. Anyways, that's all for this one. I will see you in the next one. Talakura, my fellow exile.